Hey everyone, Drew from Monkey's Tropicals Adventures here to do another fragrance review on... What smells good to me? So what are we talking about? This is installment number three on tobacco fragrances, if you count the very first video I shot here on YouTube. So it is fall, but not really in Southern California. I think we just miss seasons altogether. We just have summer, summer, light summer, easy summer, whatever. But hey, I'm breaking out my tobacco fragrances. So I'm very excited that I can start wearing them as the weather hopefully cools down a little bit. So I have acquired a lot more tobacco fragrances in the last year since I've shot my first tobacco video. So, let's get to it. The first one we are going to talk about is Ralph Lauren Purple Label. Now, I have shot a video on this, but I want to talk about this a little bit more. Um, I've read something interesting. Uh, I guess Bleecker Street by Bond Number no. 9 um, was inspired by this fragrance. I did not know that. I could be wrong. I'm sure someone will leave a shitty comment below, but if I'm wrong, then that's okay. If I'm right, that's okay too. So what's in this bad boy? Blackberry, green coriander, green leaves, mandarin, tobacco flower, fresh sage, fluid, uh, what, windshield wiper fluid? I don't know what that says. Garden thyme, mahogany wood, suede, warm musk, and oak moss. I love this fragrance. I absolutely love this fragrance. Okay, so it's a very nice, warm, sexy fragrance. Um, you get a lot of that, the tobacco obviously, a lot of wood notes, it's just very sensual. Just a great, sophisticated, classy scent. I say that a lot about a lot of fragrances, but that's kind of what I look for in fragrances. I'm getting older, I'm in my 40s, so I don't want to be wearing like the bubblegum smack type stuff. So uh, this goes for about 105 if you buy it at Barney's online, 102 if you buy it at Ralph Lauren. My very first bottle I bought it for 80 bucks. So that kind of shows you how much in price it has gone up in the last uh, 15 years, 16 years. Wow, crazy. All right, that's Ralph Lauren Purple Label. All right, what's up next? I call this the Holy Grail. I, I've, I've shot this before, but I just want to show it again because I really think if you love tobacco fragrances, you really got to give, and look how beautiful that is. This is Tobacco Vanilla by Wet Shaving Products. Unlike anything I've smelled before, um, that it truly stands on its own. I mean, the notes are very similar to a lot of stuff that's out there, but it's this stuff's a beast. Um, tobacco, absolute, vanilla, cedar, sandalwood, tonka bean, ambergrass, oak moss, black pepper. Um, this stuff seriously goes, it pumps till the next day easily. Um, great projection, great longevity. It's like a sweet pipe tobacco, that vanilla, it's just... <sighs> this could re very well be my signature set. Love it. There's a couple that I really think in these in my tobacco collection that could be my signature scent. This is one of them for sure. Wet shaving products, tobacco vanilla. If you have not tried this, get your hands on it. You can get actually a little trial size from wet shaving products. So I suggest you do that if you're not ready to pull the trigger and get a full bottle. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, what's up? We've got Spice Bomb Extreme. Man, this is a great fragrance. I don't own the original Spice Bomb. It just really didn't do anything for me, but this Spice Bomb Extreme definitely did. Pull the trigger. <sighs> Love it. You got lavender, cumin, black pepper, vanilla, and tobacco. That spice from the cumin and the pepper, it's very pepper heavy, it's very spicy, and you get that vanilla and tobacco. Again, notes start sounding familiar, but it's very different than this. They're all very different. This is just a great, sexy fragrance for sure. Get your hands on Spice Bomb Extreme if you're a big fan of tobacco as well. Love it. Really, really a nice fragrance. Okay, Bulgari Man in Black. Now what's funny about this is uh, it says there's no tobacco in it, but a lot of fragrances you smell notes that are not listed. So I smell it for sure. It's a very boozy, vanilla, woody tobacco fragrance in my opinion. But what it's got listed is rum, cardamom, cinnamon, tuberose, iris, leather, benzoin, tonka, gaic wood, and black amber. So I get, I get the rum for sure. It's very boozy. I get a little bit of the leather. I get the darker notes. I don't get the iris. Um, I don't really get the black amber. 
but I really like it. It's it's it kind of reminds me of almost Perry Ellis, um, the the Vanilla Oud. I think that's like what it is. That's kind of reminds me of, which they no longer have in um, rotation for sale. So I'm glad that I got this. And you can get this on the cheap. I got it at fragrance.net for next to nothing. It came with an aftershave and a, um, something else, a body gel or something like that. Anyways, Bulgari Man in Black, another great, if you're a big tobacco fan, you like the boozy tobacco, this one's gonna do it for you for sure. All right. Ah, uh, Jetta Sin. I gotta thank this that man for, for sending me the info on this. Velvet Teddy by Mac. And you're thinking, what the hell, right? Cosmetics sold in the women's cosmetic aisle guess what this is well if you know anything about who owns like a lot of these fragrance companies it's owned by estee lauder estee lauder owns tom ford tobacco tobacco beneath this is tobacco beneath my my friend it's a little bit actually stronger some people like it better a um, little bit probably more like cinnamon but you got ginger zest bergamot tobacco flower vanilla golden mimosa um Papyrus, liquid, liquid musk, and tonka. This is basically tobacco vanille. Not as probably as heavy, but it's also on the cheap, 50, 60 bucks, and you're smelling like tobacco vanille. So if, if you're looking for an alternative that's affordable, you gotta check out this uh, Velvet Teddy. This stuff's great. Love it. Love it. Okay, here's another one that's like Tom Ford tobacco to be, uh, to, <laughs> tobacco vanille. This is uh, Eau de Beau by uh, L'Occitane. And again, the notes you have red peppercorn, cardamom, cypress, and incense. You don't see anything that's even similar to the notes of tobacco vanille, right? Well, it's very boozy. Um, you got the vanilla, you got vanilla in there for sure, spicy, you got pipe tobacco smell. It's it just, I, I, I don't know what to say. But again, if you're looking for an alternative or something very similar, you're very close. Uh, if you're a fan of tobacco vanille, check out this Eau de Beau. I hope I pronounced that. Throw this bow. We drop bows on them. We drop bows on them. But wait, this wait. fragrance is not. It's absolutely lovely. Love it. All right. Last but not least, we've got Arabian Horse. I shot a video on this when I first started shooting my videos on YouTube, and some people lost their shit, um, which kind of made me... I wish I could meet some of these people in real life and see if they would say the same thing in my face. But um, this is inspired by Parfums de Marley and very close, if not on the money. You got tobacco, vanilla, cinnamon, incense, pepper, musk, cedar, and vetiver. Um, it's, like I said, it's very close. Very close. Very spicy, uh, a little, maybe a little bit of boozy, vanilla, the tobacco. Um, the musk, this stuff is a beast. And again, it's a fraction of the price of Parfums de Marley. And I absolutely love um, Harat. That's what it is, sorry. I didn't even tell you what it was inspired by. Um, <laughs> or Herod. That's what it's inspired by. It, and it smells, it smells great. I absolutely love it. Um, I smelled uh, the Parfums de Marley version, the real version, uh, when I was out in a department store, I loved it. Um, didn't love the price at the time and then when I found the inspired fragrance I just I did a blind buy and it was close enough for me that I was like screw it I'm buying this instead and I bought it when they were running a promotion code which like I say in a lot of my videos Alexandra fragrances sign up on their website and you'll get their promotion codes like 25% 30% off they run them like almost once a month um, and then uh, you also get a, an alert when they drop a new fragrance. So this is Arabian Horse, Harad, Perfumes de Marley, Inspired. Absolutely love it. Great stuff. All right, folks, that is number three on the tobacco fragrances. I think I'm running one more, maybe two more. I've got, I'm looking at a whole bunch of tobacco fragrances I need to review. So I appreciate you watching. Please follow all these great companies. Follow me on Instagram at Monkey's Tropicals Adventures. Follow me on YouTube at Monkey Man. And I'll see you again for another fragrance review or a shave or something. I'll do a something. A something something. Thanks for watching. Take care.